Hello, my name is Jim Ward and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS PDM technical support specialist with Go Engineer. In this video, I will be showing how to break in context references when the reference assembly is outside of the PDM vault. What is the issue? Let's start with what in context relations are. Uh, in context relations are created when the geometry on one part depends on another part. These relations are made in the context of an assembly. And when these parts are used in other assemblies, they still uh, maintain that relationship to the original assembly. So what's the problem? The problem is that uh, with that relation, their references or the assembly that they reference may still be outside of the PDM vault, even though the parts are inside of the vault. And references outside of the vault are poor practice, as other vault users won't have access to the referenced file. Also, references outside of the vault can block the check-in of files, depending on your vault settings. Now, we do have a tool called Update References that is useful for taking care of issues like this. However, the Update References tool doesn't work within context references. So, what can you do? You know, what are your solutions? Well, you, there are two. You can uh, go to each part, open up that part, and delete those in context relations and put in other relations, perhaps at the sketch level, to replace those. The problem with that is, is it, it is time consuming because you have to open up each one and find the issue and resolve it. You know, if you have enough time, that's probably the, the best way to do it. That's the cleanest way when you're done. But there is another way, another something that you can do, and that is to break those relations. The advantage of that is that it's actually really quick to do that. So if you're if you're pressed on time and you don't have time to go back and go to each part, then um, I'll show you what to do. So now let's um, show you what this looks like inside of SolidWorks. So here we have an assembly with three parts that has been saved outside of SolidWorks, PDM. And these parts each has a relationship to the other part. You see over the little arrow, that means they do have in-context relationships. And if we come look at the PDM's um, add-in, you can see here that they're all outside of SOLIDWORKS PDM. Now I've taken two of these, the block and the disk one, and I have made a copy of those files and put them inside of SOLIDWORKS PDM, and I have made another assembly with it, which is what this is. And you can see that the, those copies still have those same in-context relationships. So now if I attempt to, check the, attempt to check in the assembly, I can see I'm blocked because in the vault I have specified to not allow check-ins if they're referencing any files outside of SOLIDWORKS PDM. So what can I do? Well, of course, the, the first attempt would be to use this tool here, the Update References tool, which works terrific, but not in this case, because in this case, they're in context relationships and the Update References doesn't affect those. So, and again, as I said, you could open up each individual component and find where that in context relationship is, delete it there within the, the component, within the part, and uh, replace it with something else. But it does take time to go into each component and do that. Another way to do this is to open up the assembly in SOLIDWORKS. And you can just let me show you here inside of SOLIDWORKS, it's the same if I select this component, select the assembly, and then attempt to check it in, it gives me the same dialog as when I was in the local vault view. They are indeed outside of SOLIDWORKS PDM. However, if I come up to the top of the feature manager tree, and right click the assembly. Down here you will see external references. So I can select that and it lists all of the external references that are inside of the assembly. I can click this button, break all. That permanently breaks all those relationships. They're still shown here, but notice there is an X on next to them to indicate that they have indeed been broken. And that is enough to allow me to check in these components, the assembly with the two parts. See, now there's no more uh, references outside of the PDM vault, and I can choose check in. 
and the components are now checked into the vault. So this has been Jim Ward with Go Engineer, demonstrating how to break in context relations to a file outside of the PDM vault. Thank you for watching.